Hey, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we can use and work with shapes in SwiftUI. So let's jump straight into it. So in SwiftUI, we actually have a range of shapes for us automatically that we're able to use as standalone views and also with other views as well. So let's look at all the possible shapes in SwiftUI. So the first shape that we have is Capsule. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a V stack and then we're going to add all our shapes into the V stack so we can actually look at them and compare what they look like. So let's do this now. So let's just delete this text and then we'll replace it with V stack. Like so. Cool. So the first shape that we have is a capsule. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to specify a width and height on it. Now, when we're actually working with a capsule, there's actually a, another parameter that we can actually pass into our capsule to change the way the corner radius for our view is actually rendered. So what you have to do is actually specify the style and you'll now see it as a rounded corner style. So if I actually type in here, circular, you'll notice that it actually has no effect and that's because this is what it is by default, it's a circular um, style. But if I actually change the style to continuous, so just so you can see the difference, I'm gonna copy this and I'm just going to paste it below and we'll change the style to continuous. You'll notice that there actually is a difference. So this is actually more of a rounded rectangle type. So this is more of a rectangle and this is more circular as well. So depending on the design that you're working with, you can easily just use the style straight out of the box and Swift UI will render it for you. So the next shape we can work with is a circle. And if I was to reduce the height of our circle by like 50%, so if I just set the height to 25, then you'll notice that it actually has, it doesn't actually make it look like an oval, it just literally just reduces the height of our circle. So if you're, when you're working with a circle, you can actually never kind of like squish it to look like oval, for example. So let's just reset this back to 50. Now, if you do want to get that effect where it actually is almost squished down, then you can actually use something called an ellipses. So let's look at that now. And as you can see, when we're working with our ellipses compared to our circle, when we actually set the height to be 25 pixels, which is half the height, then you'll notice that it's actually more squished down. And if I was to change the height of this to like 50, you'll notice it goes back into a circle. So if you're someone who needs to work with a shape that needs to like change, depending on the height to between an ellipses and a circle, then you probably want to use this view. But if you just want a fixed, you know, continuously round circle, then stick with circle. Another view we have is rectangle. So let's look at that now. With the rectangle, what we actually could do is we could actually apply a corner radius onto this directly. So we could do this by using the corner radius modifier and then specifying a corner radius like so. As you can see, our rectangle now has a corner radius around it. But rather than us actually adding in this extra modifier, there's actually another shape called rounded rectangle, which you can actually pass this in when you create the view. So let's delete this. And rather than us doing this, we're going to use the rounded rectangle as you can see, when you create a rounded rectangle, you have some options when that you can use, and one of them is corner radius. So what I'm going to do is to specify the corner radius, and then we're just going to say something like 12, and then we'll give this a frame, and a, a frame with a width and a height of 50. And as you can see now, rather than actually having to apply another modifier onto our rectangle, we can actually just use it directly, like so. Okay, cool. So now that we've actually listed all of the shapes that we can work with, what I want to do is I actually want to talk about how we can actually use shapes with other views. So if we go into our assets, I've actually created some images here, and I actually go into detail about how to handle and manage images in SwiftUI in my videos, how to manage images in Xcode. So let's actually add this logo onto the screen. So underneath our rounded rectangle, what we're going to do is just add an image underneath it. Okay, cool. So now you should actually see our image below our shapes. So if we wanted to, we could actually use our shape and actually clip it on top of this image. So we can almost create like a profile uh, picture effect kind of thing. So in order to do that, what we need to do is use the clip shape modifier. So if I just type in here, clip shape, and you'll notice here that the clip shape modifier actually takes in a shape so let's use our circle. 
And as you can see, after clipping the circle onto our image, we almost get like that profile picture effect that you would on like an app like Facebook or Twitter and whatnot. So it's actually really easy to actually combine shapes and um, you know, with other views to create really, you know, simple views. And um, alternatively as well, what we could do if we didn't want something like a circle is we could actually use the rounded rectangle and get almost like a rounded rectangle with a and, almost, and get almost like a square with a corner radius. So it almost looks like an icon. So let's just copy our rounded rectangle from here. And I'm going to just replace our circle with this, like so. And as you can see, we almost get like the app icon effect. So when you're working with shapes, you'll actually notice that the default color for them is black. Now, if you want to color these shapes in, there's actually a modifier you can use called fill, which allows you to do this. So if I just use the fill modifier, this allows us to fill the shape with a foreground color. So let's do that now. And then I can just specify a color that I want to use like so. And now you'll see that our shape has been filled in blue. So as usual, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up too. And as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can get updates whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you all in a bit. Deuces.